Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be going through the new Notability 10.4 update that was recently introduced and going through all of the new features. So let's launch into Notability and the first major feature is the new library grid view. So this allows you to change the way that you view your library of notes. So as you can see we've got by default the list view which is what we've always had. But now if you pull down on the list of your notes you'll see we have an option at the top which is a grid view. If I tap on that we now get a view which incorporates a whole load of larger thumbnails so you, you can preview your notes in an easier way before opening it so you can make sure you've got the right one before you decide to open it. Now the second major feature is ink grouping. So if I open one of these notes what ink grouping allows you to do is to do well basically just that. It allows you to group multiple pen strokes together into one editable object so to group pen strokes together, all you have to do is go to the selection tool at the bottom and then just select the strokes that you want to group together. So for example, I've got a load of pen strokes here that I want to group together. These are basically just one question out of all these uh, mathematical questions. So if I want to just group all of these together, all I have to do is select all of them. So if I just draw around them or use the rectangular selection tool if you prefer, and then if I just tap on what I've selected, I now have an option which says group. If I click on that, you can see I've now had everything put into one group. This now allows me to resize it all as one object. And the great thing about this is it means I can now apply styles to the whole lot all at once. So I can change the color to say green if I want to. And if I click off of this now and tap back onto it, you'll see this group has been retained. So it means I can go back to it and edit this whole section very easily. And if I want to ungroup it, I can just tap ungroup at the top and it's now put everything back into its individual strokes. And you can also group multiple groups together. So it's very powerful in terms of how you can group different pen strokes together to make working with your notes easier. So the next feature in this update is My Stickers, which allows you to create your own custom stickers by basically just drawing them. So if I go onto the pen tool, and I'll try and draw an Apple logo here. Um, not a very good Apple logo, but it will have to do for now. Just add the little leaf at the top. So that is my Apple logo. And if I want to change this into a sticker, all I have to do is select all of it with my selection tool. And if I tap on it, you can see there's now a new option that says save. If I tap on that, you can see it's now added it to this section called my stickers. And if I want to use this sticker, all I have to do is tap on the plus in the bottom right hand corner and go to where it says stickers and tap on my stickers and you'll see all the different stickers you've created. All I have to do is just tap on the apple, tap add and it's now been added so I can now drag it around and place it wherever I want to and I can resize it and put it wherever I want to in my notes. And as you saw, if I go back into my stickers, when I tap on a sticker, I can favorite it or I can just delete it if I want to get rid of it and I no longer want to have it there. Now, there is one last thing, which is quite a minor one, but it might be something that is important to some people, which is some new sticker packs. So if I go back to the main notes picker and visit the Notability store, which is in the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see if I go to stickers, we have some new spring themed sticker packs. So we've got some spring planning and garden bloom. These are just seasonal packs that have been launched by Notability. So you can explore those if you wish to. But that's everything in the new Notability 10.4 update. It is a fairly major update now that we've moved from 10.3.5 all the way up to 10.4. But obviously that is justified with the fact that it brings a few major enhancements in the way that you can actually use and manage your notes. If you found this video helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions on anything in the video, then do leave it in the comments section. Please also do subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.